<laughs> what a way to start another day with an air sneeze. Huh? Huh? Actually. <laughs> Start your engines! Yeah. Okay, what do you want, Murphy? Um, this is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. Yeah, it sure fucking is. Hold on a second. Hmm. Alright. Where did they run off to? Probably with some other woman, I bet. That's fine. As long as he's happy, I'm fine with that. Don't worry. Maybe not today, but someday I'm gonna be happy too. Ugh. Ugh. Monotaro. Darling, what's the matter? Mana funny. Mana funny. I, I know you remember. Ooh. I need you, Mana funny. Uh oh. I. Too convenient, huh? I know I'll only hurt you more by saying stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Hey. Wait, you silly man. Yeah? Yeah. Monotaro. My goodness, your body is coming apart. You really can't do anything on your own. Hey. Alright, come here. I'll see your backup. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Mona funny. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Why are you crying? That's so not you. That's the way you are alone. <laughs> the end. What? Is it morning already? <sighs> yep, it sure is. Good num num numbing, Shady. It's time to use your detective skills today. Hopefully. Last night with Kibo. Was that a dream? My hands. Still feels warm. What the hell kind of ending was that? And that was way too long for an announcement. Well. Ah, well. I need to go to the dining hall. Yep. We shall definitely go. <laughs> Let's see. Who else is around here? Who else? Mm. Mm, okay. Kaito and Gonta are outside. We can definitely talk to them before we go to the dining hall. Kaito! Where are you? Ah, there you are. Um. Good morning, Kaito. Oh. oh, hey, bro. Perfect timing. Can I get your opinion on something? Huh? Huh? For what? I mean... Well, it's about our training. Like I said before, my training is based on a systematic method. Sure. But I feel like something is missing. Yeah. Something like a method. Or a system. Uh, um, you do. We've only done sit-ups and push-ups so far. That's right. Even if I don't need it myself, in order for you two to grow. I feel like we should add something like martial arts. Or some kind of mental training. Or or magic training! I mean, me, Shuichi, and Gonta did start training with Himiko yesterday in doing magical poses! Ha! Maybe we should add that too. Ah. Not gonna mention it. I do have a practice sword. Oh. oh, good idea. Practicing with those will be a great training exercise. Mm. Alright, let's not wait till night. We're gonna do this special training as soon as possible. Would you like to go with Kaito? Sure thing! Alright, I got it. All right. It's decided. I'll bring Makiro, so let's meet at the usual place. But first, breakfast. I'll see you there. Alright. I guess this time we're gonna train with swords. I mean, first was magic, and now with sword fighting. Soon we will be able to go on even more difficult dungeons together. I just cannot wait. Alright, uh... Where is... What the... Actually, hold on a second. Hmm. Is it just me or this is... 
this was this wasn't before I don't think this was before hmm where they are just doing even more stuff around here Jesus hmm Alright, uh, Gonta? Are you... Uh, you are here. You are near the manhole. Hey! Hey! Come out! Where are you hiding? Come talk to Gonta! 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 Hey! Yo, yo! What's wrong? Are you looking for someone? Oh! Oh! Good morning, Shichi! Gonta not looking for person. Gonta looking for tiny bug. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I was wondering about that. Have you found any? Yeah. yeah. That's. I do remember asking you this before. I am actually pretty curious. Did you find any? Mm. Oh, Gonta no can find him. Gonta see him lots of times, so Gonta pretty sure he's not mistake. Hmm. hmm. I see. But. But Gonta happy treat you love bugs so much. Huh? Huh? Um, I don't like bugs that much. Huh? What? You hate bugs, Shuichi? Uh, Shuichi, be careful. <laughs> you don't you don't want Gonta to go all choo-choo on you again. Wait! No, I, I love them, Gonta. I said that before, right? You right? Oh yeah. You good person. So of course you like bugs. Uh I don't think being a good person means liking bugs. I, I uh, mm. Allow Gonta. All right, Gonta, go find Tiny Bug for Shuichi. No matter what it take. Look forward to it. All right, you do that, Gonta. It's no use. I still get chills thinking about the insect meet and greet. Yeah, I sure am too. Ooh. Um, well, yeah, that tiny bug that he keeps mentioning—it just bugs me. Ah, get it? <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was, that was, it. okay. Anyway, let's, uh, let's just go to the dining hall. Okay then. Let's go and, uh, Actually, I would like to check some other places too, now that I think about it, but... Eh, I guess so. Let's go to the dining hall first. And see who else is around here. On our way to victory. Oh! Himiko is around here, somewhere. Where is she? Is she like... Oh, there you are. Hey there, Himiko! What's up? Good magical morning, Himiko. Yeah, it's you, Shichi. This morning was very unfortunate. Huh? Hmm? Did something happen? Hmm. What are you saying? The Monocop's drama ended. Mm. Monotaro awakened to love. It looked like a new development. But then it was over the next day. <laughs> I see. So Himiko is still being hopeful that the Moro Cubs are actually gonna get some more meat as time goes on. For us to give at least some shit about them. Before <laughs> before I couldn't give two shits about the Cubs. And I can't say that I care that much about them now. Like, at all. But at least someone here is being hopeful. That or she's a big fan of love stories in general. I mean, I am in for some love stories in my spare time. So you are really looking forward to that, huh? <laughs> okay. I thought maybe it was going to turn out that Manafani had a baby in her stomach. Wait, wait what? <laughs> Jesus. Uh... How about that? It would actually be the child of one of the dead cubs. <gasps> Oh God, the fl the plot thickens. Those are the kinds of melodramatic twists and turns I expected. But I'm not sure it would be much fun watching a melodrama like that. Yeah? No, no, this is typical daytime soap opera stuff. Next, she'll burn the roast, and then bam, zoom. 
<laughs> and now we're suddenly gonna get action on top of it. Actually, come to think of it, it sounds way more interesting the way you are talking about it. You would actually, you would actually make me give a shit about the Cubs after all. Like, somebody hire Himiko as the new storyteller for the announcements and Monokuma feeders. I mean, the ratings will go through the roof at that point. We demand our special feeder moments. We will call them Himiko's Magical Feeder. Where all she will talk about is soap operas and magic. <laughs> what the hell is she talking about? You're right. Um, if it's already over, that's that. That's right. Throw me away my regrets and moving forward. That's my new way of life. Yeah! Nico, do you know a lot about soap operas? <laughs> I guess so. Me personally, I can't say that I have watched soap operas in my life. Although, I do want to see what the deal is with Japanese dramas one day. Like, try something new for once. Like, have you guys watched soap operas before? Like, Japanese dramas? I mean, let me know about that sort of stuff. Let me know if you watch like any soap operas and Japanese dramas. Alright, time for breakfast! Good morning, people! What's up? Hmm. Hmm. Why are Mew and Kokichi? Hmm. <laughs> well, Kokichi is being Kokichi. Like, probably planning something bad. Mew, however? Jeez. I understand why Kokichi is gone, but where is Mew? She's probably still messing with that computer on the fourth floor. Computer? That's right. Or she might be in her lab, working on another invention. I saw many how build machines in her lab when she performed maintenance on me. Help build machines? Do you know what she built, like specifically, Kibo? Hmm. Well, messing with machines and computers is all that's about all she's good for. Damn! <laughs> that is one hell of a rose, Himiko. Mmm, I can definitely smell the burn. What could she be up to? Gonta? Huh? Gonta, what's wrong? Mmm. Gonta, do you want a hug? Um. I can offer you a hug. Gonta's still thinking. Since yesterday, how can Gonta be useful? What? But Gonta no can think of anything. So frustrating. Come on, man. Okay, but you don't need to make such a scary face. Besides, it's not just you. it's not just you. That's something we all gotta think about. That's right. We all should be thinking about what we can do to survive. Hmm. Use your self-destruct system to save us. That's how robots make themselves useful. Ah. Uh, Himiko? No! You're being a robopho- You're being robophobic again. In fact, you know, that, that's also a thing that I want to help you work on. It is your robophobia, because you are being a meanie. I'm gonna write it down on a list so I don't forget. We will talk about this later. Hey! Even though that is true, at least hesitate before you blurt out something like that. Uh, Kibo. If it, even, even though that is true, come on. But you made it true, huh? Come on. No self-destructing, okay? We're, we're gonna solve this without anybody exploding here. <laughs> I mean, except for Himiko, who can create explosions with magic. And even then, she would rather use her magic to make people smile, so she wouldn't fucking use explosions and all that. But still, let's not let's not think about explosions like period. I guess. Oh, uh, keep thinking about it too. If I come up with a good idea, I'll tell you guys. All right. Now that that's settled, now that that's settled, let's eat. If you don't eat well, you can't think well. 
Oh, that is definitely a given. We finished eating breakfast, and then returned to our rooms. We needed to get our thoughts together. We were completely unaware that an unspeakable menace was brewing. You know, like, what the hell are, are those two doing? Kokichi and Mew. I have training with Kaito now. Hmm. He said the usual place. I'll meet him in the courtyard. Alright. Time for a special sword training session with Kaito. Got it. Oh, there you are, bro. Hi, Kaito. I'm here, and I am ready for sword training. And without tooting my horn too much. Here. I can definitely help you in that. Because I do have some sword fighting experience. If I do say so myself. All you gotta do is follow my lead! And try not to cut someone's dick off by accident. It it happened to me once or twice. <laughs> well I was surprised when you mentioned a special kind of training. <laughs> Well, you brought the thing we need for our for a new training, right? What? New training? Shuichi. Pass it here. Okay. Here, but is it usable? Hmm. Is this a practice sword? Why would you have something like this? Huh? Huh? Why are you making such a disgusted face, Makiro? Ah, uh, that's right. So you didn't tell Kaito yet. When I first started working, I botched a mission with the katana. Mm. <laughs> I do remember you saying that, Maki. The reason why there was like no katana in your lab. Because you don't like them. Since then, I decided not to use swords. I see. Oh, I see. Well... Don't make that face. I know you didn't mean any harm by it. But you know... It's my fault for making you remember something that makes you feel bad. All right. All right. Tell us about it now. I'll listen to all of it. <laughs> oh, Kaito. I feel like you're contradicting something over here. What? Huh? Listen up. It's difficult to talk to people about your failures. I get it. But didn't I tell you? Roll. Being able to share your burns with others—that's how you get stronger. Don't hold on to your past forever. You gotta confront it to move on. And I'm gonna help you with that. I don't understand. What What are you saying? You're ridiculous. Anyway, that failure doesn't bother me anymore. It doesn't. Okay, sure. But I don't mind talking about it. Just be warned. It's a boring story. <laughs> well... Trust me, if it involves cutting someone's balls off by accident, then it's definitely not a boring story, I can tell you. Before, she would have just told me to mind my own business. Maki has changed a lot since then. Well... Indeed. When planning an assassination, you need to gather detailed information first. You need to know the target. Their schedule, movements, friends, and acquaintances. For this particular target, he normally worked late into the night. But when I looked further into his schedule, I found out he was into some nerdy hobbies. Nerdy hobbies? You mean like Tsumugi is? That's right. Yeah, just like her. He especially liked cosplay. Huh? Cosplay? Never in a million years would I imagine hearing cosplay from Maki's mouth. I told you. So while I observed my target's private life, I thought of a good plan to get close to him while concealing my while concealing my weapon. Ah, I see. So you cosplayed as a vampire girl. 
Well, like I said, with your looks, you would definitely pass as a cute vampire girl. Uh, um, uh, how? Okay. A prop carrying case. Huh? What's that? How is it different from a normal carrying case? Well, Tsumugi would know. Yeah, she would definitely know. Actually, speaking of Tsumugi, where the hell is she? <laughs> if only she were here too, so that we can also talk about cosplay. She would, like, she would probably have a lot to say about this. It's a specially made carrying case for cosplay props. It can accommodate large props, so it's convenient to carry around. And then suddenly Tsumugi appears out of nowhere, it hears. Like, hears the word cosplay, so he butts in in the discussion. So I place the katana into that carrying case. So I place the katana into that carrying case and made my move. How annoying. But then the people around thought I was a cosplayer and something odd happened. Huh? What happened? <laughs> oh no. And then suddenly werewolves attacked you. And then the plot of Twilight happens. Oh, the horror! <laughs> On that day, they were holding a cosplay event in the same hall the target had gone to. Unfortunately, I had the same height and hairstyle as a popular character, who also carried a katana. They thought I was cosplaying that character. So I got dragged into a hall by a group of excited people with expensive cameras. Huh. They almost saw the weapons I had in my case. If they had, they would have found out my katana was actually real. Oh. So this is how you failed your mission with a katana? Sounds like a close call. <laughs> <laughs> I was wondering what this serious failure of yours was going to be. Okay. Yeah, I'll see. It was much cuter than I was expecting. <sighs> Don't laugh. For me, it was very serious. That's right. I was branded as a failure because of something so stupid. If they didn't donate to the orphanage anymore, then it would have been the end. Oh. Oh. You're right. My bad. Yeah, you're right. That's not funny. I'm really sorry for laughing. Hmm. Indeed. I'm sorry for the whole vampire girl talk. And I'm also sorry that this failure happened in the first place. Sorry. Yeah, me too. Sorry for laughing, Maki. Why... Why the surprised look? I mean, this must mean a lot to you. This failed moment of yours. It's not like we want to be dicks to you or on purpose about it. Of course we're gonna feel sorry. <laughs> and you are all like... You guys are being so nice to me. The fuck? Jeez. Y you don't need to apologize. I'm not mad. I can turn her head to the side with a pout. And that expression on her face, opening up to us with her stories. I never could have imagined this. My impression of her has changed yet again. There's still so much I don't know about Maki and Kaito. I hope Maki is right. We can learn more about each other after we get out. No. We will become friends. We will definitely get out of here. After a bout of training with a sword, I return to my room. Alright, well, we did get to learn quite a lot about Maki this past few days. <clears throat> Granted, I still have... Uh, I still need to talk with Kaito in free time and learn about him as well. But, you know, when we had that talk 
during the night when we had to do the training and instead we talked. I was hoping that we can also learn about some stuff about Kaito's past as well. Given that we already talked about Maki's past as well. So might, have, might as well have like a like a like a backstory session where each of each of the students talk about their past and not just Maki's and such. I I would have really liked that. And here too, we also learn about Maki's first failure. You know, which is pretty nice. What to do? What can I do? The only thing I'm good at is solving mysteries. But I can't figure out this academy. I don't have many clues. But that's no excuse. Yep, it is definitely no excuse. Because right now, you're gonna be spending some more time with some, other, some more people. Instead of thinking about the academy and all that. Because, again... What can we get out of the clues that we got so far from the flashback lights? Actually, to be quite honest, I think that this is something that I'm gonna talk about at some point when it comes to the flashback lights. I mean, I can't say that I have like any idea about what the fuck is going on, but I, I do have to question the reason behind giving us the flashback lights in the first place. And giving us the flashback lights at certain intervals between trials and such. Cause that definitely Cause that definitely bugs me as of now. Instead of going for the straight answer of what is going on behind the scenes, we gotta ask ourselves other questions that we wouldn't normally ask, like why is the mastermind giving us this information? at such intervals, and what does the mastermind hope to get out of giving all of this information to us, like, at such intervals, like, during the kidding game? Like, what is the purpose of this? That, I do have to question myself, but I can't say that I have any answer for that either. Mm. Okay, well, let's spend some time with uh, with some more people. And today we're going to be spending time with Himiko and Kibo, in that order. These monitors are everywhere, but I don't see any cameras. How is the mastermind behind this kidding game monitoring us? Or are we not really being watched at all? Hmm... That is indeed a good question. Something that I've been asking myself like quite a lot in the past. I do have to wonder. Hmm. Alright, then. Here we go! Cause I'm a mate. There's one thing I can do. I'll support you with my magic. Yeah. You can definitely support us with your magic. That's fine. Help us, Hiviko! <laughs> Leave it to me. Nothing's impossible with my magic. But there's a limit to even my magical powers. Make sure you understand that. Yeah. We certainly do, do not want to create too many explosions and get people hurt and all that. That's, 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 there's definitely a, a limit to Himiko's magical use. I spent some time with Himiko. I didn't. Himiko! I want to offer you something that I'm sure will make you really, really happy today. I do consider this to be like the best gift I will be able to offer you. And that is... Where is it? Ah, right over here. The Illusion Rod. A miracle rod that can show a happy illusion when it's spun in circles in front of someone's eyes. With this, not only will your MP limit increase exponentially, but you will be able to make people around you smile even more with magic. Hey Jay! Oh. Ah, you clearly know what's important for a mage. Yes, thanks. I'll show some of my magic. Yay! 
Is that all right? Here we go. There's something I have to tell you, no matter what happens. Yes. <laughs> there is there is something that I need to tell you now. Otherwise, it will be much harder for my heart to tell you this. I... I... I have accidentally released all your dubs in your lab, and now they are flying everywhere. I'm so sorry. Oh, and also about your master. No matter what happens, you won't be alone, Himiko. I can assure you that. What? 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 Don't tell me that you fell for me. <laughs> uh, okay, let's let's not jump to conclusions here, Himiko. Wait. N no, it's not that. It's something about your master. Yeah. Yeah. My master. Okay. Yes. I was thinking about your story. Perhaps your master is training secrets, so that he can perform with you again. Yeah, that can be it. Hmm? I mean, Himiko's face didn't change. She might be thinking the same thing. Maybe just hoping. Hmm. Yeah, might be right. Yes, I'm sure of it. That's true. How can you be so sure? I think. Do detectives have magic to read people's souls? <laughs> well, just like your magic, detectives do not ever reveal their secrets when it comes to their work. I can tell you for sure, Himiko. Himiko's expression brightened just a little bit. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, don't worry. I'll I'll refrain from using that magic. You're right. Yeah, you're right. I don't need it either. I cannot even find my master using my magic. That's probably because he doesn't want me to find him. Like I said, maybe there's a reason. Maybe he's training a secret. I thought of that too. Okay. That's why you're focused on improving your magic. Yeah. That's. Your master is polishing up his magic too, Himiko, to perform with you again. That's why you need to continue working hard as a magician. Magic tricks are what connect you to your master. That must be why she's never too lazy to do magic. Yeah. Not only is it because she wants to make people happy with her magic, which in turn makes her happy, it is also a way for her to... to connect with her master. Even when she was still with him, and even now when he's gone, it is still a way for her to connect with her master. Right? Am I wrong? No. You're wrong. Uh... uh? Huh? Huh? It's magic. It's not magic tricks. It's real magic. Oh. <laughs> God damn it, Shuichi. You dunderhead. Oh. Uh, sorry. You're, you're right. Real magic. Jeez. Oh, That's right. Jeez. When will you get it? Then... <laughs> well, anyway. We have to get out of here soon. So you can perform together. Hmm. You're right. I'm gonna be more positive and work harder. Yeah. I'll support you with my magic. You can rely on me, okay? Of course we can. Your magic is truly what lifts our spirits up. Okay. And we will survive this together. Alright, Himiko. Thank you. Himiko and I are both focused on the same goal. Getting out of here. It's because of our bond that we can stand together like this. If I put my trust in this bond, I know it can overcome anything. Hey! We mixed out our friendship! And we learned a new skill! Abracadabra! So I do! Now I can use magic too! When solving cases. That! will be the new way of solving cases. 
using magic. Even when I parted ways, I returned to my room. All right. <laughs> hey, we got her undergarments too. 18th century style, yo. That's that's quite the that's quite a unique type of undergarment that I don't get quite often. <laughs> okay. All right. Hmm. Actually, before we talk to Kibo, I wanna I wanna see something. Mew. What are you working on? I am pretty curious on what you're working on. <laughs> almost. Almost there. Hmm. Yeah, I am pretty curious on what she's working on right now. We won't know until she finishes it. But, hmm. I am actually pretty curious about this. Kibo! By the way, I noticed that Mew seems to have shut herself inside the computer room. Yeah, indeed. That's wrong. I'm not jealous of the computer. That would be ridiculous, of course. Right. I just wonder if it has something to do with this other world she mentioned. Other world. Hmm. I spent some time with Kibo. Kibo and I grew a little closer today. All right. Let me see about the gift. Even though eh, I can't say that I really know of any gifts that would be great, great, great. I don't have any more white robo mustaches. I only have like. Machine parts catalog And another thing would be the oil, but other than that, I don't think I really have I don't think I have any other Gift that would be the best or something mm. I honestly don't know All right, well, you know what I'm gonna give you this particular machine parts catalog Thank you very it much. also has like female sections, so I think you are gonna enjoy this particular one too. This is quite a practical gift. Thank you. Listen closely. Please don't get the wrong impression. I'm happy because this gift is so practical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rubberphobia and all that. Chichi, have you given more thought to our previous discussion? Our previous discussion? Uh, I remember when I suggested her. When I had said I, when I suggested he fake. The singing. Sorry. Yeah, I have Kibo. I apologize for saying what I did. Yeah. I accept your apology. After all, humans and robots are like see greater understanding. Well then. As for my robot business, if I can't be a pop star, I have to think of something else. But I can't seem to think of anything. Do you have any ideas? Something else for Kibo could. Something else Kibo could get into. I really upset him last time. I should think hard about this. <laughs> Stunt <tour? laughs> Robo <-me? laughs> Oh my goodness. Well, you can already tell that he is pretty sturdy when Gontai and Tenko threw Kibo last time into the into the water tank but no i'm not gonna be rude to him about that instead i'm gonna say that he would be good as a robot mate because you are quite caring and you also look fabulous just like i said before then what about a robot mate what is it i i think you've been partaking in too much science fiction <laughs> besides I can possibly be better made than Kirumi. You're right. Yeah, that's true. Hmm. All right then. Uh, oh. 
perhaps a caregiver bot? With life expectancy rising, I'm sure there is demand. Caregiver robot? Ah yeah. You are gonna become the next ultimate caregiver. Co uh, Kibo. I see. Hmm. A caregiver robot. I hadn't considered that. Well then. All right. I'll begin practicing at once. I'm counting on you to help me, Shuichi. No. Uh. What? How could I possibly help you, Kibo? Please. I would like you to roleplay as someone in my care. Okay. Uh, I see. All right. Sure. Well then. First, I'll attempt to assist you in getting ready for bed. Uh. uh ready um... for bed? All right. Can you help me change into pajamas? Impossible. Ch ch changing clothes? I cannot do that. It's too embarrassing. <laughs> Such a great caregiver you are. Kibo? No. It's care work, Kibo. You don't have to be embarrassed. Don't! What's embarrassing is embarrassing, and that's that. No clothes changing. Hmm. <laughs> alright, alright. Well then. Alright, alright. I suppose I'll try picking you up and placing you on the bed. Okay. Yeah, there's no bed here, so I suppose we just have to make do. I got into the fetal position, so the Kibo could carry me more easily. <laughs> Kibo carrying Shichi! <laughs> the continuation to the love hotel with Kibo. <laughs> just put a just put Shichi in a Just put Shichi in a dress and Kibo in a uniform. This is kind of embarrassing. This could easily lead to a misunderstanding. Yeah, that we're suddenly getting married in the middle of the in the middle of the kidding game. All right. Okay, here I go. Cable announced with determination. Then began lit began to lift me up. Oh, oh, ooh. The what just what just broke? Did somebody break their bones? Huh? Ah! Yeah. He's not picking me up. Cable, hmm. what's wrong? Uh, my back! My back! Oh god! <laughs> Kibo! Don't tell me! Did the uh, did Tenko Did Tenko do a number on you as well? Like before the last class trial? <laughs> Jesus. Well I know how you feel. I mean right now I'm fine, but before I wasn't really able to carry heavy stuff, otherwise it would have been it would have made my back much much worse. <laughs> Huh? You're back. I thought you were a robot. How rude! You're you're too heavy. Heavy? Shuichi? You mean this you mean this person? Shuichi? Heavy? No way. Really? I mean look at him. I'm 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 not. I'm normal for my age. <laughs> uh, oh it hurts to move my back. Ah I guess that makes caregiving under the question. <laughs> okay. Well, our quest for finding Kibo's uh, a new future still continues. I guess that certainly did not work. Ironically, I ended up carrying Kibo on my back <laughs> and taking him to his room. <laughs> uh, okay. That was pretty fun. That was quite a lot of fun. And now it's night time. Oh, and somebody's ringing the door. I wonder, who is it that is ringing behind the door? <laughs> 